Okay, so I'm going to start showing off some of my pieces, and I'm going to start off with the very first board I actually put together in this set. Um, it is 24 inches long by 12 inches. Um, the set that I'm planning to do will be, those will be the large tiles, the smaller tiles will be 12 by 12. So this here is basically a road board um, and a small little hill with a kind of a rock cliff. The rocks are made from a plaster mold that I picked up. I believe it's a woodland scenics mold. And the hill was shaped out of foam and then shaped a little bit better with plaster. My goal is to, of course, try to make sure that figurines do not tip over on the hill part itself um, and where it's a cliff face of course I don't need to worry about that but uh, I seem to think it works really well uh, of course it depends on the size of the base of the figurine as well moving on to my next piece you can see this one's only 12 inches by 12 inches uh, there's no hills on this one but I wanted a kind of a large outcropping of rocks there's also a little area here in which uh, animals might have lived in and such. Um, and you can see it right there. And yeah, just a couple of small trees. Um, it's a fairly simple thing. And uh, again, white for the rocks. This is to really help punch out the color. Uh, it's a great filler piece. I really like it. Moving on to my next piece, this is the Elven Outpost that I've put together. Uh, sadly, it doesn't quite all fit into the frame very well. Um, but, uh, yeah, my concept for this was kind of the Rivendale type concept. Uh, I have a water effect all around the, the building, which is made out of plaster and some foam board. It is removable. So I could put other boards in or just leave it as a ruin, uh, either way. Uh, the water effects is kind of my first try with. Um, I'm not great and happy with it, but uh, I can't really remove anything or take anything out, so I'm just going to have to leave with it. Again, uh, for the rocks, uh, I have a white highlight, a dry brush. Again, this is just to make it punch out make it very noticeable. Um, I wasn't necessarily going for realism, but uh, good look. Um, yeah, so the water, like I said, I'm trying to make it look like it's moving. Um, it's still an experiment. The bridge is removable if I have to get underneath. I don't like to move it because there is a line there and it gets more and more prominent every time I move the uh, board, as you can see. Um, there is a tree. This is one of my first times doing a tree that is seven inches tall, but uh, I feel that it suits the piece quite well, and uh, this is a really great piece I'm looking forward to using in my next D&D game. And lastly, this is my river piece. I am really happy with this piece. As you can see, I'm still missing a bridge. I'm hoping to get to that later this weekend. Uh, the water effect is my fourth attempt with this uh, riverway. Uh, I wanted something kind of the mix between a creek and a fast-moving river. Um, so I've tried river piece after river piece, ripped it out, did a new one, ripped it out, did a new one. I'm very happy with this one. I'm using a Liquitex as a base. And then I'm using Mod Podge on top of the Liquitex to get some movement in the water. And then a uh, Woodland Scenics um, water effect for the sharp, crisp, white caps that I have in certain parts of the river. Uh, overall, this is one of my favorite pieces. The trees, unfortunately, I've yet to find a cheap way to do. But uh, thanks to some birthday presents, I think... I was able to fill this piece out quite nicely. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say about this. I, like I said, it's my favorite piece by far. I'm looking forward to adding the bridge. So, thanks for watching my video, and uh, I'll try to do some more videos in the near future. My next video should be a how-to video on to make a tile.